Prodigy, wind it up. Okay, what the hell are these, Zeus? Why haven't you reviewed these yet? They look awesome. They look awesome. Are those a coaxial six and a half inch powered studio monitor with the brightest of bright blue fucking LEDs? Yes. Uh, I've seen these for a long time on Monoprice. They made their way to Amazon. They were up, they were down, they were around $300. And I'm like, $300, $250, I don't, I don't, I don't. They dropped to $150, and I'm like, oh. Sure, I got, I got no speakers. I got no, like, piles of, piles of speakers. I'm like, let's do it. So I grab a set. They're stage right, which I don't quite understand if that's, like... They say monoprice.com on them, and then they say the stage right. So then that's what, that was like their monolith before monolith was a monolith thing. And these weren't quite in that sort of upper echelon level of what they wanted to sell for the monolith brand. So they made it stage right. And I picked them up, and they're 10 pounds a piece, and they're a studio monitor. The stupidest, brightest, bluest, fucking blue, fucking blue RCA input, TRS input, XLR input, volume control. No clicks, just smooth. And then, whereas usually on a studio monitor you get two controls, bass and treble, this speaker only has high frequency adjustment. And it goes up one, or zero, or down one, or down two. And what it should do is down 12. Because it, ooh. These are a perfect Z review speaker. Because sometimes they got a speaker and it's meh. It doesn't do anything special. It doesn't uh play louder than anything else it doesn't image better it doesn't have the most bass it's just an average speaker and i get to give it an average review but these oh baby are you fucked up in a special way you see that's the thing these are now as of this recording see that girl's eyes see the anime anime is like fuck these are 100 dollars a pair and if I was going to sum up this review, because nobody wants to sit around for 20 minutes listen to me talk. I mean, some of you do. These are potentially the loudest speakers you could ever own. Let me tell you why. Let's come over here. Come over here to, my, to the old. Look, to the old. Remember the Canto Benz? Which are a five and a quarter coaxial. So there's a tweeter in the middle. And here's uh, the woofer around it. And these were sealed and they had no bass. And I was like, wow, those image amazingly right in your face. Like, oh my God. But they were hard to drive. And well, you really needed a sub to use them. And so, and they were just, they had this, well, make those bigger and then put 90 watts in here. 60 for the mid range, 30 for the tweeter. Port them and make the box bigger so they actually have low end. And you have the potential to do something amazing. These speakers would probably be absolutely perfect if my living room went from here to about 35 feet back. 10 meters? 10 meters. Can I get 10 meters of distance? Because the party piece of these, they have terrible reviews on Amazon. They're not, they're not no one understood them. I, I finally understood them. They're not meant for you to casually, they show them, oh, these are six and a half inch multimedia speakers and they're sitting on some guy's desk. Fuck you, that's not their point. What these speakers do, is what these speakers, oh, I'm gonna talk quietly now, I'm gonna sit down on my couch. This room is 15 feet from this wall to that wall, so they're about 13 feet away and I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna keep talking. Now what those speakers can do, is they hurt my brain, like my brain is getting fucked right now. And if you didn't hear what I just said, I said these speakers fucked my brain right now. The problem with the Canto Benz is the problem with these. It's why Kefs are such amazing speakers. Because Kefs put the tweeter in the center. They use a coaxial design. But Kef literally based their entire lineup on that design. And Stage Right and Monoprice just sort of went, um, I don't know, do one of those. And the problem with that is the problem with this. The waveguide, a waveguide. You know, here, here's a waveguide. Here's a speaker, right? See the tweeter and this little, little ring cone around it directs the sound outward. 
and there's uh, other speakers have smaller ones or none or like the JBL like the big ones have a huge waveguide but they're tuned specifically for that and this this has a little ring waveguide around there but it's also got this giant six and a half that is directing the sound forward so these essentially become sound cannons and I don't think that here's the thing they don't sound bad once you understand this principle you can't be anywhere near them. Six feet away? No. Ten feet away? Nay, nay. You just gotta keep, we gotta just start knocking walls down because you gotta get so far away from these speakers. But that's their gift. If I ever wanted to cause a ruckus in my town, my beautiful little quaint town, I would like, oh, I'll open the windows and stick speakers out of there. It'd be these speakers. These speakers are basically PA monitors. They are designed to broadcast 150 feet into the wilderness. You ever lose your dog, point one around, the speaker just, Burr. hey, bitch, or just whatever your name, dog is, I'm assuming if it's a girl, you name it, bitch, yo, bitch, just echoes out into the valley. Let's get photo of it. I had a song on before. If I keep spinning around, maybe we'll all get sick. It was by Yim. Is this the one? It was 11 minutes long. Yes. Yim Hawk Man. No, it was six minutes long. Big gun shooting towards the sky. So, Yim Hawk Man, big gun shooting towards the sky. trying to lean back over the couch. They are absolutely clear. I have them on zero. Do I have them on zero? The, tre the treble? The treble's on zero. If I push it to negative two to try and quell what's going on, it does about nothing. These are very, very, these are, if I had, let me see, well, try the best way to describe how these speakers perform. If someone gave me an old movie theater, like a 200 person movie theater, and I needed to fill it with speakers, it'd be these, just these. They do a decent enough low end. I mean, you, in a theater, you'd probably need about a shit load of subs, but these could project sound forward infinitely, and they sound good. They sound good doing it. The reason they have such bad reviews is people have desks. And this is not, you are not okay to put on a desk. I mean, look at them. They actually look cool. <sighs> Coaxials always look cool. And it's got this metal ring around it and the port. And the port isn't mirrored, which is, you know, you deal with that. Because it's just they're making the same speaker a hundred times. The blue LED, you get some blue tack and you stick it on there, white tack. You turn the volume knob to maximum. I'm controlling it with my, uh, with FUBAR through the mini DSP. I think if you sat down with measurement microphones and mini DSP'd these with a sub, not necessarily that Genelec sub, but a sub, and you got them... See, the thing is, it doesn't sound like there's something wrong with the frequency response. The frequency response, yeah, they're a little bit trebly, but the actual physical build of them is what gives them their... You could either call it a handicap or a superpower. Those are the two options. Either they project sound so much that they could kill you at this distance, and that's a handicap, or they project sound so much that you could use them in a baseball field, and then that's an advantage. Superheroes. Some things aren't always an advantage. These are what I would call a scary speaker. And I've had lots of speakers. And I can put any number of speakers. I got the Navis, I got these Fluons, Emus, Sonys, I got the brand new Swans. I had up there for the month, from over a month, those seven, eight hundred dollar uh, edifiers. Even those cheap Rockvilles, just all up here. And none of them scared me. But these scare me. And that's what I want. I want speakers that are not just, if it was just a bad speaker, this would be a review about me going, oh, it's a bad speaker, don't buy it. Most of you aren't gonna buy these speakers. 
but at $100 a pair, which is what they are now, I think what I'm describing, maybe some of you are into it. My friend um, works for a place where they have a giant new car warehouse, and they need to get cheap sound in there. Cheap sound. He needs like $500. I'm going to redirect his efforts. I'm going to say buy four of these and XLR cables and the little XLR patch panels. You can actually run balance signals at all of them. Just point them into the middle of this 100 foot wide, 300 foot long place and just play them. And oof, are they gonna sound amazing. Because that's their natural habitat. The mono price just built them, went, ah, I guess they're okay. And then, you know, tried to sell them as multimedia desktop speakers. Where what they actually have is like extreme telescopic sound projectors and they should be charging six, seven hundred dollars a piece for them, and then people will go, "Oh, really? Oh, designed to work at minimum twenty feet from the listener up to a hundred feet, because that's what it feels like." And they image, they they do all the other benefits of a coaxial, like a, like a Kef set would, where they image beautifully, and you get that center point where the sounds are both coming from the center of this. So if I'm here, it's fine. If I'm here, it's fine. If I'm here, if I'm down here. Hi. It's fine. That's great, because normal speakers, you, you have the two, two drivers, and as soon as you go down here, the distance changes and your time alignment's off, and it's, uh... So coaxial can be better. It's why the Kef still gets such great recommendations from me. Of course, it fixes that. Until they add another driver, and then it's like, eh, why'd you bother? But, um, these still have that magic of a coaxial. They just want to murder you. And I, I wasn't prepared to buy them at 250 if no one was reviewing them or they didn't like they didn't like scream. No one was screaming, these are better than JBL 305s or these are better than Atom T5Vs. Nobody was saying that. Even at half the price, you know, no one was even saying it's coming close. Up. Up with the fushed. Or wander around in a circle, it's fine. That's what I meant to say. Wander around in a circle and wave your tail. Next track, you say? Holy fucking, okay. Remember when I said there were scary speakers? That, I didn't know it was gonna come on and that spooked me. Frozen OST, no. And they have decent low end, that's another thing about, is okay, they're six and a half por front ported. I just wish, if they worked on a desk, these would be like the most purchased speaker. These would beat 305s and Atom T5Vs, it'd be amazing, because they do sound great. But you, you, your desk has to be very, very... I had to brush the cat. I'm sorry, everyone on the internet. The cat comes first. Oh, yeah. I've had to torture my poor puss puss. Chewbacca. She's a girl, by the way. Chewbacca's a girl. I named her before I could sex her. And now she is forever sullied. These are the speakers you get if you hate your roommates. You hate them. You fucking hate them. I hate the people I'm living with. I hate the people I'm living next to. I hate the people across the street. Because you could just turn these on a turret and anyone you hate is now in the like, hate my cat. Are you buying these? Um, if any, I need a set of speakers, Zeos, for a garage. If you're in a garage, like a big old garage, boom. $100 for a pair, get some wires, I'll link some wires in the description, uh, probably XLRs, you can get them with uh, RCA adapters, plug them into an old tuner, turn this shit on, and you can go play anything the fuck you want at insane volumes, because $90 each is 180 watts, it's a 200 watt, and that's like the old A500 would have put out. I can't even... I don't know how I'm going to do the sound demo because the sound demo is not done yet. And it's, I might just move the microphones here, which I tell you to never do. And I say, I'm never going to put them back here. You get too much room. But these fucking things are just, wow, aggressive. Aggressive is the word. I understand their bad reviews. Nobody understands them. They tried really hard. They have this magic.
And if you could use their magic ability to throw sound 100 feet in a straight line, I recommend them highly. Chewbacca, what do you think? What if she just took a shit on the floor right there? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Good girl. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Show everyone that you're a cat and you can balance. All right. Cat's now officially been where she's never been before. Hope she enjoys that. Do not knock the speaker over. You gonna go jump? She's gonna stare at the window and I'm gonna link in the description these, some wires hook them up, maybe some alternatives if you don't wanna use them. Like, like I just, I, I feel like I wanna keep them like under my bed, like just in, for that one moment when someone's like, oh man, I'm doing this block party and I don't have any speakers to project a uh, hundred feet down my road, boom. But I'll probably put them in a yard sale and someone else can use them for that matter. Happy? Happy cat slut. Uh, in the description, sound demo, links, link to the Patreon. I just talked about putting them in the yard sale. I bought them, I spent my money, they actually dropped in price, I got them for 150, now they're 100. But if you wanna spend 68, 42, when you live in the United States, you wanna get it for that price, free shipping, I sell things that I've bought in the yard sale because they gotta get the fuck out of my house. And these were a fun little experiment and it's time for them to go. I also sell headphones and DACs and IEMs and everything else. Not the cat though, never the cat. Uh, also the Patreon, you get to see these videos early. These videos in the sound demos early. Hi. And uh, ask me any questions you want. It's a little slow on the Patreon messaging I'm actually like two weeks, three weeks behind. Apologies to all my patrons. Um, I have a $10 tier, which has a Telegram app chat where I have over 130 people paying to just ask me questions directly. And there's books in there, books of questions. I'm afraid she's gonna knock this over. You go down now, you go down now. So that's what the $10 tier grants you. It, that's it, that's all I gotta say. Oh, and the wallpaper, that adorable, shocked, eyeballs exploding, like holy fuck. Wallpapers in the description. Uh, I'm Zeos Pantera, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for the sound demo. And then after that, another review of another speaker, or headphone, or amp, or deck, or sous vide, or vacuum, or anything I feel like, Chewbacca, I love you.